Sisters and Swoons, and y'all back again with another Life with Cousin Patches. Now, y'all know that I done changed the channel's name to Cousin Patches Baby. Yes, it is, because this is my baby. I tend to this all the time, you know, so it's like nursing it. Right about now, Ruby having some computer boxes problems, so, you know, please excuse any of the filming, because we're, you know, filming on scrap. <laughs> to get y'all to this show. Oh, we would like to call this episode a spot to pee. Uh -huh. Yes, a little spot to pee. Ooh. Yes, I want to talk about all the shows that's not in the norm, but slightly the norm, but not. You know, like it's confusing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, is that confusing? Slightly the norm, norm, but not. Yes, and that's all our crazy shows. Like RuPaul's, I love RuPaul's Drag Racing. We can't take RuPaul's Drag Racing. It's our gravy yes. that we slightly free back. We love RuPaul. Yes. Untuck the racing. Ooh. Especially the untuck. Oh. Yes. Uh, yes. We <laughs> love it. We also love Real Husband of Hollywood. And I cannot take Kevin Hart, Robert Thin, and Nelly. Ah! Oh! Oh, honey, if I had any fantasy, baby, it would be in between Robin Thicke and Nelly, baby. You heard? They look so good with their tight-fitted shirts throughout the whole entire show. Just throw me in the middle and let me be your salami, baby. Just call my pepperoni. Call my pepperoni. So, <laughs> oh, crazy. You know, so, we got to be talking about that on this dang old show. And uh, we're also going to be talking about the new show that uh, Kamara just so fab got popping off. We will so be following her because as our girl, she is the epitome of fabulous. She is fabulous. Yes, she, is. she lives, breathes, eats fabulous, and I love it because it is a lifestyle. You know, and I love it. And uh, it takes a whole support thing. I thought this, this Kamara was going to have other models to model her shit. No, she has a team of people to help get her together so she can model her own shit and sell it. Her face is what works, so that's what the hell she does. And there's a whole team of them to keep her together. I don't know. I just love her fabulous. And even though she's short and stern, she don't belittle people. And she treats people the way they want to be treated. So, she no, is so her. sweet. Love I love her. Love her. Love she's from my hometown. Yes, like, yes, 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 yes. Beautiful. Love her. So, uh, back to our favorite show. There's been a lot of contestants this year on the RuPaul Drag Race. And there's a couple of them that I can say that I love all their personalities. Uh, we have Miss Dixon. Miss Dixon. Oh, Miss Dixon. Miss Detox. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Detox, honey. I love her. I love her because she reminds me of Chad Michaels. And I just think she is so extravagant and classy, you know, but not too classy to where she won't uh, read you and let you know that she got to set her pocket hook down and set her hair to the side. She would tap that ass. So mm. I love her. So then we have people like uh, Jinxie Madison, the older lady, the one who looks like uh, Lucille Ball. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Jinxie. Jinxie Mason. Mm. Okay. You oh, know, the, oh, thick, yeah, the thick one. Oh, Jinx Mason is the one that has that annoying laugh. That's the one that's like, you said it's a little, no, a, no, a little no. immature. No, because I wrote it down. That's, that's, uh, that's J. Joanna. Oh, yeah, it's J. Joanna. You are so right. Yeah. Oop, my bad. That's the one who slightly looks like she's 50 and she looks like Lucy Ball. Mm hmm. And, and the one uh, came in with that swimming Yeah. Stick. That was hot. I, I like her. Hot. Her and Pandora Box. Not Pandora, but I tell now, penetration. Penetration. Like and penetration. I love them. It's like Lucille Ball and uh, Paula Dean mm -hmm. dressed up. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> they are crazy, honey. I tell you, they, they trip me out. So I like that. And then you have uh, Little Vivian. And she's a Ooh. little Spanish enchilada. Very pretty. Very pretty. Oh Very goodness. pretty. She is serving up, baby. Tilapia and Flander, honey. She got a little red snapper in her. Okay. Because <laughs> somebody say fishy. I love her. 
Yeah. Another one I like that is standing in for us sisters is I like Alaska. No, not Alaska. She's white. I'm sorry, Alaska. But we'll talk about this. I guess since we already own Alaska before I even get to the other mm. one. Alaska is the boyfriend of the queen now, Sharon Needles, okay? And she represents this whole dark, deep, goth look. Ugh. You know, but, you know, I like Halloween too. And, uh, but anyway, that's her boyfriend. And Alaska, she slightly looks like she is packing oak. I'm sorry. She does. She looks like she's thinking. Ugh, excuse me. So, uh, Anyway, you know, she got some pretty big shoes to fill because, you know, Sharonita was very creative and she brought a whole nother dark side to that. And I'm wondering, is that going to be her thing too? Or is she going to be the angel and try to do the opposite thing mm -hmm. of what Sharonita is? Or is she going to be doing what she's doing? I don't know. It's interesting to see. But, you know, I hope RuPaul shampoo doesn't go down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and the other one I love is representing us color women out there big ups to honey monogamy mm. mahogany oh, yeah. that, that's a hot one <laughs> yeah she is such a classy lady honey I love her she give me my body back girl <laughs> <laughs> I love her honey she is something else I think she's beautiful and I think she's going to be around for me yeah I, I do too yeah, I, totally I think she's going to be around for a minute. Oh, my other one I like was Ivory Winters. Now, Ivy Winters, she makes clothes out of tape. Caution tape. Condom. <laughs> Condom. I hope it's before you use them. Uh, that's it. That's about all wet and sloppy, hanging from your ears, and Ugh. all made a pocketbook of a used condom. That's nasty. Ew. You know? I don't know, but honey, she be using whatever she can find to make outfits and, and, and clothes. And actually, they turn out halfway decent if you, you know, you a hobo. That's like hobo chic. So she has a whole line of hobo chic. You can take any kind of garbage and make you some. Nice, chic work, you know? Bum chic. Bum chic, yeah. <laughs> It'd be interesting to watch her this season. I actually hope they keep on there. If I can see all kinds of stuff that you can use around your house or whatnot, you know, in order to make clothes with. You know, mm -hmm. next bitch is going to put uh, honey on her body and rat her and roll around and a thing of fall leaves outside. You know, I don't know. It's crazy. It's, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be ready to watch that. Yeah. You, know, you have uh, Monica Beverly Hills. She's sassy. See, I like her. Too. I like her. She's a very sassy lady. So I like her. Uh, hopefully, she keeps it interesting so we can keep her watching. You know, because she can easily be forgotten. So you know, stand out, baby. We're the storyline. Okay, and then you have uh, Lynchea Spork, the little Puerto Rican. Lainisha That's Spork. your favorite. Mm. <laughs> That's a great. Excuse me. Say it again. Lainisha. Lainisha Spork. Lainisha Spork. Yeah. Mm. 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 To Miss Phaedra. That's my favorite Atlanta <laughs> housewife. Oh, honey. He is cute, whether he is a boy or a girl. He is hot. I love him. He is too cute. And honey, when he put that shoe in his hair. That was so creative. He rocked it. I may have to bite that with my damn self. Because you sometimes I want to wear more than one pair of shoes inside the club. And I've been known to take an extra pair and just switch up. <laughs> you know, just flip flop on the ass. And a whole new outfit. Like, bitch, was that? I thought she was in. Mm. Bitch, nah, I took a smoke break and started to change. Flip flop. Costume change. Costume change, right? So, but you know, just because you don't have any uh, wardrobe malfunctions, you should always keep the extra pair of shoes and outfits somewhere. And you know, I don't know if you should always wear everything in your hair, but that one shoe was this, it was hot. She made it very classy. Mm -hmm. At least it wasn't a Timberland. Right. <laughs> that Timberland boot in your head. Yes, 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 a Timberland boot. What a <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> but I. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, 
there's some people out here that seems very um, conniving and sneaky. And I don't know. They just don't have no originality about themselves. And I am talking about Alicia Edwards. Mm. Her copycat ass. She seeing other people put stuff on their dress. She runs to put three buttons on her dress. She sees somebody with some blind hair. She runs to get her best blind hair. You know, I'm like, come on. And you can just see her watching. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm like, get your own ideas. You know, I don't know. It's crazy, but, you know, she's starting to look like she's saying. Yeah. She was on, I, every time she smiles, I, just, I don't. Ugh. Yeah, she looks like she smells like goat cheese. You know, they look like they smell like goat cheese. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, your girl Coco, you also like her too. Mm-hmm. And no, you didn't like her because Coco had made a compliment oh. about uh, black people don't get their hair wet. Well, she- I mean, not that I don't like her, it's not that, it's just, it just kind of made me feel, I kind of felt offended with what she said, because she was like, um, has anyone told them that black, that black people don't, swim. yeah, black people don't like to swim, <laughs> and she was like, well, I'm glad I'm, I'm Dominican, ah! I'm like, but the, the Dominicans, like, that's part, that's, like, it's still, yeah, it's Hispanic, but it's also a part of the Ethnic black culture. Group. And reason why a lot of us black women do not like to be getting in the water and swimming like that is because we pay so much for our hair, honey, and we don't like to mess up our hair. That's right. We just have maintenance, baby. So that's, you know. Mm. So yeah. I had to make the question. Not so with her saying all of that, I didn't, you know, I didn't care for that either. Because what do you mean, honey? But see, it's like I don't have anything against Coco. I no. like Coco because I actually... I think that she's very, very, very pretty and very like creative. I, I, I like the little create the, the, the little film reel yeah, and stuff yeah. that she had. That was cool. It's just that that comment kind of made me say, "Damn, like you're trying to like." People and you sitting there looking black at them. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, people don't know you Dominican. You know, we all look black when you that shade. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, we are not walking around. If you didn't open up your mouth, everybody would have just threw you all in the black girl. They don't have a Dominican line for you. They either black or white. They didn't have Dominicans. If you did this back in the day, they would have told you to stand over there, bitch, you dorking in a paper bag. You're black. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dorking in a paper bag, you're black. But it's interesting to see what she's going to bring to the table, I tell you. Uh, it's crazy. Um, there's going to be a lot of beef popping off right now. And mm-hmm. right now, on this season, because there's some beef popping off between uh, Jay, uh, Jay Jolene, and uh no not jo not jay jolene her name is uh demonic smith no what is that girl's name oh, she was on the show before coco also got in the cup no yeah coco and yeah she also got beef with jay jolene jay jolene and um uh yeah, because so they man, did a pageant man, they did a pageant together oh on another who, set who, who did that was coco montrees and Alyssa edwards had uh, they, okay. they used to be friends, and then this pageant got them, which I can pretty much see. The person well, who doesn't want, shit. Mm-hmm, the person who doesn't want to talk about it is usually the one that is in is in the wrong. And yeah, because she's talking about, she's gonna talk about it, honey. Yeah, Coco want to talk about it, but yeah, she's gonna talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you just got things all messed up. So mm-hmm. I would like to see how she calls her out, honey. Calls her out throughout the season, because baby, I will be, I will be there. You know, I will be there. And um, I know what we we'll do. Um, what's her name? What's her name? We oh, at the end they had the same for their life. Penetration mm. and little cha cha. What the one I call a little cha cha? Little Serena. Serena cha cha. Little Serena cha cha. Yes, mm-hmm. honey. And that little thing, cause her outfit was toe down from the floor. And mm. but honey, she worked it. She Broke it, honey. That dance off was nice to watch, honey. She was with it. Mm-hmm. <sighs> but penetration, she danced like she just got penetrated behind the club, honey. She was club dancing. That I, you know, she did all club dancing, fist pumping. Mm, mm, mm. I thought she was gonna bust that with the electric slide, you know. She did the uh, nightclub dance, penetration. <laughs> she did not know what the hell she was doing. It. And we all know if you're a drag queen or if you are, you know, in that line of queenism, that's a whole nother form of dancing. 
You yeah. know what I'm saying? You are supposed to come out with your mirror, baby. Fix your eyelashes, put lipstick on, baby. You know, you're supposed to work every move into the song. Make that phone call, praise them, you know, love them. You got to do all of that. End up dying for you, smack on the floor and jump back up. You cannot sit up her and do this, well, you know, like you at Coles, you know. <laughs> Chair dancing, girl. The honey, and she did the uh, the uh, little cha cha did it split and brought it up like it was like it was nothing, honey. Yes. And penetration was like you, I penetrate some stuff. I'm not ready to penetrate through that stage, so I believe that split up to you. And they end up sending penetration home. Oh. So this is crazy. Y'all stay tuned to RuPaul's stuff. I like it. I love it. I can't take it. All the uh, color, all the sass. I I just I just love it. I just love it. I love it. So watch it because it's, it's it's serving us, honey, sweet sweet spicy tea with a hint of superior in it, and you have RuPaul's Drag Racing. So watch it, watch it, watch it. I love it. <laughs> Another show that's slightly out of the norm, but in the norm, is my favorite Hollywood husband. <laughs> I love them niggas. They are so hot. I love the storyline. I love it. It's slightly not real. You know, it's a, a little kind of skit off, based off of what goes on in some of these Hollywood reality shows. It's popping off. And Kevin Hart, this is ingenious. I think it's hilarious. I am so dedicated to watching this. If any of y'all have any any type of personality or funny bone in their bone, on their bone, please key in and watch these fellas because you have uh, Kevin Hart, Robin Thicke, you have Nelly. Uh, um, Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. Uh, 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 what's his name? Of, what's that old school guy? That's the throwback one that's been on there for a little time. It's been brought back. We can't J- think of his J-B name. JB something. He's on there. They got some nice people on there. And honey, it's like with this whole cast together, Robin Thicke dropped off little bits of Hershey Kisses throughout the show because baby, he sang for us. You know, he could just do the shoot and make us bad. Uh, the, the album, but no, he actually gives, gives us a couple performances in the show, and I love it, and I, I, I love it, and honey, and I just love it, but the whole plot of the story is, is about Kevin, he's going through a divorce, and he's slightly bitchy, like he's always on the rack, and he got this clique of friends, and he slightly likes all they wives, and he gets beat up by Dick, well, that's a Dick Cannon. Nick Cannon. That's <laughs> son, you know. And so he wants to sue this little boy for everything he got. I know it sounds crazy, but the movie is hilarious because, honey, that guy came out with a whole nother clothing line called um, Ripper 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 Rip it off. Rip it off because when uh, Kevin went to lunch with Robert, I think he was wearing a uh, Ripper Ripper. And he was like, I didn't even have to put these sleeves on today and rip the sleeves out. Like, what's going on, Robin? You know, what's going on? And I tell you, doing that scene, I loved it because I was able to see some people that I ain't seen in the world. Like, Russell Simmons stopped through mm-hmm. on the show. And he's an old uh, Hollywood husband. And I look like he's been eating something that has meat products in it because he's starting to look a little healthier and picking up a little weight. Way to go, Russell. Because I used to be like, hey, you look kind of hungry. And I know you, you you cool, but you know don't pray all your way away. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. <laughs> anyway, and I was so happy to see. Um. Uh, Al. I um. love Al Bundy was on her, honey, and they let it out that maybe him and uh Peg, the uh the Peggy, yeah, maybe Peggy. I slightly might be swingers because they saying he's throwing all kinds of hot sexual bodies. Uh, over there, so I don't know. They might be swingers, but it was nice to see that he was still up in the back. <laughs> oh, I can only imagine him in this speedo. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> on the show, no. making guest appearances. That was that was real nice. That, that was that, that was, was real. That was real nice. I love it. The guys actually put all this together, and it turned out to be very nice. And um, another guy had to stop through, honey. And I can tell you that Kevin couldn't wait. To say this, though, mm, 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 mm. he was going to knock some common <laughs> fist out his ass. And mm-hmm. what he heard was, 
It's only common sense. Yeah. Yeah, he could probably get this ass. Ah! Uh, <laughs> hey, see, I want to say that no, um, don't want to be disrespectful. I know common does not go that way, but. He just say that I admire him, not just for his look, but his If he did, you can give me up a press right, Jeff, and that was our underscore to the plus to the fire. But I I appreciate his his artistry most definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was gorgeous. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, honey. Beautiful man. It was a beautiful man. Yeah, it is. It is. And I tell you, the whole through thing, Kevin got um, an assistant. And uh, that he treats like shit. And this is a perfect example of how not to treat your assistant. <laughs> and I tell you, watching him made me miss my old assistant, Tammy, when I was in Louisville that was helping me keep the show going until I got in her to candy him. But, honey, she was a miracle worker. Because she was doing some stuff. And so, shout out to her. I miss her. Thank you so much for the years you gave to me. Because it's going to be hard to find somebody like that again. And, and if I have to, you know. If I know ain't nobody as good as that, I don't think I'm even gonna have another assistant. You just gonna have to get it the way I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Jack. It's too hard right now to be worried about that. <laughs> so I don't know. These are some of the shows that we most definitely will be watching, honey. And uh, I just really love it because you know it brings a sense of humor. It makes us feel good. We break our necks to watch some of these shows. And we figured, you know, maybe y'all ain't home kind of corny too, watching these shows as well. So we figured we'll come on the show and let you know a little bit about some of the things we've been watching. Uh, I am excited about they got this whole new Big Rich Atlanta. And it's about the younger generation of Atlanta who, you know, they may not be, you know, old style legends. They new little hip hop, uh, not even hip hop, new little uh, generation. Trendsetters, you know, of the next upcoming baby woman. Well, that's what we call other people. Well, or whatever you want to call them, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so, anyhow, there's, a, there's got a lot of diversity going on. I'm just now checking that out. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to see what's going on with it. So far, I've been peeping it, and it looks like there's a little scatter going on. They got a little, little plot on there. And, honey, they are fighting all up through there. Them little girls got some things going on. And they got some little divas off in there, too. So, check it out. We'll be watching it. I'll be watching it. One thing I will be watching for sure is Mary Mary. Mm. I, 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 I did not know that the gospel world had that much drama going on. I didn't either, wow. honey. They got some girl drama going on. And out of all the sisters, besides Mary Mary, I feel sorry for little Goo Goo. Uh, well, her, yeah, her name is either Goo Goo or Go Go or something like that. I feel sorry for her because, you know, they got her styling her clothes. And now since she done lost her sister that was babysitting, um, she didn't want her to do this, that, and the other. And that poor girl can't never say no. And they try to tell her, you can't be in love with this guy. You met him on Facebook. You don't know what. She just happy. They look happy. Leave him alone. How you going to run that relationship, Mary? Mary? Mm. You don't know? And then they got the other one, that uh, the other sister that's been babysitting for her for years. And she's getting ready to get married. And Mary Mary never sitting around like, you know, well, how dare you be the wants to quit working and watching my kids every day while I go run off and sing to uh to Oprah and them and, and, and for the council and you don't want to sit here and watch these kids. You know, I'm sorry. She did just get married. She needs to put her you know, she needs to put that focus into her husband and her kids. She's also their auntie. But other people don't have time to be watching your kids all day. Don't nobody mm-hmm. want to sit around and do baby talk all damn day. You know what I'm saying? Come on. And she was really upset about that. You know, kind of like she was choosing one over the other. But Mary, Mary, them, they are something else. I love them. I love them. I love them. But, honey, they are something else. And that relationship that they got going on with their manager, honey, mm They just giving him a hard time. They giving him a hard time. But they mm-hmm. paying him. And I just pray that, you know, because I think he's in it for the right reason. I don't think it's right that they boyfriends are slightly punking the manager. Like, if you ever get smart, and you say anything to goo or anything that really involves me because I'm her boyfriend. And I come back. And the homeboy, the manager was like, security, yeah. But like, security? He like, security. 
You know, and then I love the fact that Mary Mary's one of his husband, he's like they little coach. Mm-hmm. He goes to their little concert. And even though they flapped at the Lana Richie uh, uh, show, they yeah. kind of messed that up, right? It sounds too good. It didn't sound too good. And so the manager was like, he, they had the rest of the night to go on, so let's not ruffle their feathers. We'll talk about this at the meet tomorrow, which I think that would have been a good idea. But no, not Mary Mary's them husband. No, I called them girls Mary Mary. I don't can't remember they real ass, whatever. So they just, I was going to be Mary Mary. I got to figure out what I'm talking about. The Tom Mary Mary. So, <laughs> the Tom Mary Mary's husband, Chocolate Thunder, his ass. <laughs> oh, Chocolate Thunder. Chocolate Thunder. He came back there like a drill sergeant. That was crap! <laughs> you may just blow it! <laughs> Y'all should never want to sing again! Oh, wow. My dog, was that in there? <laughs> I should have stayed home for this. <laughs> he looked at Mary Mary. No dick for you tonight. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. No. You know me getting out of life, Mary Mary. He's going to say it better than that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> then he sit there and that's just they manager. So but they had the dirt to get bad with homegirl. Miss Google said her boyfriend said, she was like, you know, I think his name was Tony. You know, he said, it's just okay for me to say no sometimes. You're discussing sister's business. You're discussing Mary's Mary's business. You're discussing our business with him. But your husband is slightly, you know, letting you know you won't be getting your cookie crumbled. Because you couldn't sing, the, couldn't it hold a note for Lionel Richie. Oh, wow. But she can't speak to her husband. I mean, her boyfriend. Soon to be her husband. Mm-hmm. And it was sad. That's, yeah, that's... Because when that boy got when they it is sad because they had a little wedding and they was out having a good time. Mary Mary didn't gonna take Google little husband I said, What you mean you getting it right? Why you need to be getting it right? Y'all just met each other. How what you look like just moving her uh moving her all the way to a lot. Her family's her. You need to move her. That's what you need to do. He's looking like you're not getting ready to trust me. Nah, I be having a lot because y'all bitches look like y'all gonna kick my ass. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. So, uh, you know, it's so cute. She's praying to get her have his baby, going through the ups and downs. The other one's like, look, I'm just trying to get my things done because I don't got nobody watch my kids. So hurry the hell up. And it's just crazy. And I look forward to see what they get ready to bring to the TV because you know, right about now, I don't got nothing else to do. This is what I do. Right now, I don't got a little extra money to be out there having, you know, cocktails and, you know, how you dialing right now. It's not half hour. As soon as I do get to half hour of that, y'all will know. So, y'all stay tuned. We're going to continue on having a spot of tea and enjoying the rest of these crazy shows, honey. So, uh, be sure to tell a friend, to tell their mama, tell their daddy, tell their brother to subscribe to Cousin Patches, baby. Smooches! Mwah. Don't forget my 1975 gospel patches, my G.O.D. channel, so 1975 patches. Check it out. And uh, Spit Edition TV. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You know a girl gotta eat. Smooches!